we are making this full screen background image with HTML and CSS. As you can see, whatever size I drag this page to, it is staying responsive and the image is staying centered vertically and horizontally, which makes it easy to create a desktop version and a mobile version that is fully responsive. In addition, you can see that we have some text here that is staying in the center of the image. Let's get started. I've opened a new window in VS Code and I have made an empty folder called background. I'm just gonna drag that in there and full screen our VS Code. Then I'm gonna create an index.html file. I'm gonna write exclamation mark, press enter to just give us a boilerplate HTML to start with. Then I'm gonna create a div inside of the body. Then I'm gonna give this div an ID of background. Hit save. I'm using the prettier code extension. That's why the code jumped around. Then I'm gonna create a new CSS file, call it styles.css. And I'm gonna to link to that file in our HTML. So link and then rel style sheet, and this is gonna to be to the styles.css file. Then let's open up our new uh, website, open that folder, double click the index.html file, and we have our website open in our browser. Then in the description of this video, you will find a link to the picture we're using by Sophie Turner on Unsplash. So you can click that link and download this image for free. We're gonna download the large image and then I'm simply gonna drag that image from my download folder into the Explorer here. I can close Unsplash and I can also close the Explorer. Then we're ready to set this image as our background for this div here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna target our div using hashtag background to target the ID and we are gonna give it a background image and we're gonna give it an URL, and then we're gonna link to uh, where we have that stored in our project. So that's gonna be just the name, Sophie Turner, and we are gonna hit save. Also, let's turn on view and word wrap so that we have all our code neatly visible. We also need to give this background a height to make it visible, and we're gonna say it's gonna take 100% of the view height. So the entire view we have, that's gonna be the height of the image. Hit save and also refresh the page. And here we can see we have the top left corner of our page showing up. We also have a margin here that is coming from the body element. So let's remove that. We don't want that in our frame. So we're gonna target the body. We're gonna say margin and we're gonna say zero refresh our page and that removes the margin. The next thing we want, we obviously don't want the top left corner only to show, we want to have the entire image in our view. So we're gonna give it a width of 100%, as well as a background size of cover, which means it's gonna cover the entire page. Hit save and then refresh the page and now we have the image taking the entire width. As you can see, if it gets bigger, it's gonna stretch to fit and it keeps its aspect ratio. But as we can see, when it goes smaller, it's still gonna kind of just show a part of the image. We don't want that to happen. We want the image to actually shrink. So the next thing we want to add is background position. We're gonna say center and then center, hit refresh, and that's gonna center the image now. So if I Make it bigger, it's centered. If I make it smaller, it's still centered. And that also goes for the X direction and the Y direction, so vertically and horizontally. So this is great, but there is one problem we might encounter, and that is if we go back to our HTML and we now add another element, like let's for example say an H1, and we say background image, hit save and then refresh the page, we see that that pops up on the top here and now doesn't really look good anymore and we get this scroll bar, but we want this text to be in front of the image, on top of the image and that the image is kind of separate from the rest of the 
HTML content. How do we do that? Well, let's get back to our CSS. First thing we can do, we can target the H1. We can give it a text align center. Let's just put it to the center. And then we can target our background and we can give it a position of fixed. And then we're gonna give it a top. It's gonna start from the top of the page. And then if we refresh, and then we see that the image is again taking the exact uh, height and width of the page. But now our text is gone. So how do we get the text back? Well, let's also give the image a Z index, which is basically where it sits compared to the other uh, elements on our in our HTML. So a Z index is uh, by default, everybody has the same Z index, zero. But if we give it a minus one, it's gonna be behind the rest of the content of our page, including the H1. Hit save and refresh, and now we see that our text is back. Let's make the color of the text white. And let's also give the body a display of flex to center our text. And then we're gonna justify the content to the center. We are also gonna align the items to the center. And we're gonna give the body a height of 100 view height so that we know where, which center to put the background image on. If we refresh now, we see that the text is now centered. In addition, if we want, we can give it a background of black, for example, and also a padding of 10 pixels. And let's make that a bit invisible like so. Hit refresh. And now we have a centered image, no matter what size our frame is, and we have some text or however many elements you want to put on top of it, and they're not interacting with each other. I hope you found this video useful. If you like this one, then there is another one here suggested for you that I think you might like. Until next time, see ya.